Well, who among us doesn't love our New Mexican cuisine? Sometimes a good meal seems like it can fix practically anything. Now a couple of guys are hoping a new restaurant will be a key ingredient to help some people stay out of trouble. Our Ryan Laughlin shows us how in this latest Heart of New Mexico. There's something about food <laughs> so hungry that brings people together. He knows all my secrets. I know his secrets. If you ask Ralph Martinez how he met Fernando Ruiz, he'll say on accident or there's no such things as as an accident. They share meals and stories. I really can't say a whole lot about yet. I might have to wait another three years with statue limitation stuff. Um, <laughs> Martinez grew up in this part of Espanol. We'd come to Dandy's, we'd play the video games. It's also the place he nearly died. I lived underneath a bridge um, just right across the street from Dandy's. Hopelessly addicted to heroin, he did whatever it took to get high until one day. I remember this one particular time I said, forget it. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I knew what I was doing. I drew up a whole syringe full of heroin, uh, which is 50 cc's, and I remember doing it. I remember the feeling that I had. I remember seeing like kind of like things starting to get black and then the next thing I know I woke up, I'm in an ambulance. A good Samaritan and a bunch of Narcan saved his life. I came to the acceptance that life isn't a race, that life isn't a race. And I came to the acceptance that I still had life to live. And that was huge. That was big for me. That was a big moment. He cleaned up in Arizona. I was homeless for like three or four months. I can't imagine being homeless for six years. Ruiz was coming to his own realizations. My hardest part was not to stop doing drugs. My hardest part was to stop selling drugs. He found his own way. We welcome Chef Fernando Ruiz. Ruiz quit pushing drugs when he started. Cranking up the heat in the kitchen. The job you want when you're locked up is in the kitchen. A little bit of cheese and any jail and or prison. For the simple fact that you get to eat good. He took his talent. I want you to get into the spirit of the season. To winning three Food Network cooking contests. We just got to talking and one thing led to another and here we are. Now these two sinners think they've crafted a recipe for redemption in Santa Fe. At Escondido? What's cool is this is our parking lot for the restaurant. The pair cooked up an idea to staff the kitchen at their new taco joint. I'm a six-time convicted felon. With people like them. And so I know how it is to try to get a position even at a gas station. Seven and a half. Women. Women. Seven and a half. Women. 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 Seven and a half. Come on up. It starts with handing out the kitchen essentials. Yeah or not? Like Tell me, yeah or not? Is that cool? Are they cool? Are they dope? Okay. To outfit would-be kitchen workers who are still a little raw. I want them to be comfortable. I want them to be themselves. I don't want them to think like, like I'm the principal and they're gonna get in trouble if they do something wrong. A lot of them have done something wrong. Getting those cuffs put on you was no fun, huh? About a dozen, mostly teenagers, have wow. broken the law and they're about to undergo a month-long culinary crash course. Thank you, thank you. Martinez and Ruiz are founding the Entrepreneurial Institute of Northern New Mexico, a nonprofit that caught the eye of a state lawmaker and won funding to train people to help get them jobs and stay out of jail. Four weeks later, this group has been taught the techniques and is Serve Safe certified, a key ingredient to a career in the kitchen. The final course is dinner for some powerful people who caught the aroma of early homegrown success. I knew about poverty. I knew about addiction. I didn't know it in depth until I went through it. I understand how easy it could be to end up in a situation like this, and I understand how hard it could be to get out of a situation like this. Serving others, showing the heart of New Mexico. But I also know the healing that comes along with piecing your life back together. I'm Ryan Laughlin.